Hello guys and welcome back and it's a nice quick video today because I want to talk to you guys about SED drives, that's self-encrypted drives. These are disks that arrive with an extra layer of protection in terms of keeping your data safe. Now, for those of you who have ever been looking at hard drives to buy, particularly in a business point of view, you may have noticed that right at the bottom of the list after regular drives and enterprise drives and high speed drives and all the rest of it, you come across a bunch of drives with extra letters on the end. Now, these letters do change from time to time, but three of the most common you will see on Seagate, WD, and all of them is SED. This means this is a drive that arrives with a preset setting into its controller that is in charge of encrypting the entire contents of the drive. So once you start using it, the drive itself will have its own locker key, much like BitLocker, that will stop you accessing it, which is great. But if you're one of those people that have found this video because there's a specific problem I'm going to talk about, namely, what if you want to wipe an SED drive? So say, or in my case, you're using a NAS like a QSAN, and it allows you to use the self-encrypted drive back end of these disks and encrypts the disk and then one day you decide to use them for something else or you've got the drives from a repurposed device or you've bought them second hand. SED drives aren't as easy to format as regular drives. Now if you do connect an SED hard drive like all of these and they cost about the same as most enterprise drives it should be said um, and you do the usual thing of going into your computer manager which and if you don't know Go into this PC or my computer, whatever it's called, um, and then head up to the top, click view, I'm um, sorry, go into the computer icon, go to manage, and from manage, this is how you would normally access a drive from manage, go into storage, go to disk management, and from here, it will list all of the available disks. And at the bottom here is the SED drive I'm using. Now, normally, if you wanted to format a hard drive, from here, you would right click here, click initialize disk, you would initialize disk and it would allow you to format the disk to factory settings. However, on an SED drive, if you search you, now chances are a number of you have found this video just because of this and you want to know how to format it. Well, I'll stop being so clickbaity. What you need to go to is Seagate and download an app called Seagate Tools. I'm getting it for Windows, but there are a multitude of different versions, even a USB bootable one. Once you've downloaded the application, it's very small indeed. It installs just like any other app. Once you run it for the first time, and I've already installed it for the purpose of this video, it scans all of the available drive media, provides you with the user interface there in front of you that displays all of the available disk drives, be they USB, SATA, SAS, whatever, on your system. And that will include your self-encrypted drive. Carry on doing its spin and show us that disk. We have to make sure that we accept the terms and conditions and we can see the available disk drive. So if we do a rescan, it will then rescan all of those disk drives and it will find the disk that we've introduced. And right there on screen, there's my SSD there, that 960 there that's doing my OS and there it's appeared, my SED drive. So from here, what we need to do is start enabling the right tools because if you try to do just a simple format it won't let you what you need to do is select the drive in question open up basic tests go to the bottom where it says advanced tests and from here this pop-up will appear what we need to do now is click f8 and suddenly we have got a bunch more advanced tests and the one we want to focus on is sed crypto erase from here, on the front of the drive, will be a 32-digit code. Now, 
it is a bit of a nightmare typing that in so if you do want to download for your mobile phone a 3d barcode reader or if you happen to have a 3d barcode reader knocking around then all the better but what you need to do is enter this key found on the front of your disk drive right so we've got our key all put in and now we can press f8 to begin the crypto erase this will now begin the erasure of this disk drive and removing all of the data and the sed password that we set up during the original video i did a while ago for that qsan nas so if you are looking for a means to completely wipe the sed encryption from your sed drive there you go it's that straightforward lucky for me there wasn't much data on this drive but this test and wipe will take a little bit longer for you guys if you are using a fully uh, stocked capacity drive lucky for me it was empty but this has been how to wipe an sed drive back to factory settings i hope you've enjoyed this and what we can do now is if we now exit this and we go back into the original settings of the um, computer viewer the management tools and storage we will be able to format this drive just like we would any other not that we need to because it's completely formatted but i'm going to wrap things do remember that if you do want to learn more about data storage and the way you can take advantage of storage within your um, storage environment then do carry on watching this channel and do let me know how you get on maybe you i missed something maybe there's some tricks that you guys can teach me but otherwise cheerio click like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time